Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I didn't even look to see if I have anything stuck in my teeth. I am going to be filming this food storage restock and organization with you guys and showing you a tour of our food storage. You guys seem to love these videos. I'm so happy about that. That makes my heart so happy because I love organization too. Currently, I think I'm in labor, so I'm trying to keep moving. Um, I'm having contractions and back labor and things like that, so I definitely needed to get this put away. We also have a massive Thrive haul that Derek actually just brought into the garage for me that I need to put away. So I'll be showing you what we got from that as well. If you guys aren't familiar with Thrive, it's an awesome online marketplace. You can filter through all the allergens that you have, like gluten-free, dairy-free, things like that. And they have a bunch of great snacks, a lot of shelf-stable products, even meat boxes. So if you guys want to sign up for Thrive, we have the year-long membership, which breaks down to $5 a month. You can just follow the link in my bio. And right now the deal is that it is 25% off your first order plus a free gift. And when we first signed up, our free gift was an entire box of chomps, which is not cheap. So, all right, let's get started. First thing I'm going to be doing is restocking everything. As you can see, a few things are out of place here and we really just don't have all of our stuff on hand. You can see we're getting a little bare down there. So I've got a little bit of a Costco haul down there plus the Thrive haul. And you can see all the newborn diapers in the back there, but we're just gonna start there. Like I said, the first thing that we're going to do is take everything from the Costco haul and eventually the Thrive haul and put it on our food storage here. My biggest tip for organizing a food storage or a pantry or any kind of shelving space is to take everything out of the packaging. I usually have more than one thing in my hand as most of us moms do. So it's a lot easier to just have it ready to go and grab and that way you can take it with you on the go. Um, you guys are actually about to see me <laughs> breathing through a contraction here in the next clip. I told you guys I was definitely in labor during this. Um, I think it ended up being early labor. I'm not really too sure. Actually, at the time that I am doing this voiceover, I'm bouncing on my birth ball and trying to get these contractions to keep coming. They keep starting and stopping. So that's why I think I'm in early labor. But again, taking everything out of the packaging, lining it up nice and neat and pulling things to the front so that they are easy to grab. see me ripping off the top of this applesauce pouch box. I do this for almost anything that I possibly can. You can see it on the pouch box next to it. Um, it just makes things a lot easier to grab when you're not messing around with those cardboard flaps. And now for the Thrive Haul portion of this video. I don't have a ton of stuff from this Thrive Haul. It was a pretty quick Thrive order where I was like, oh, we need some stuff on hand right before sis comes. We've also taken a couple things out of here, so I will be sure to mention whatever we took out. But I do have some good stuff in here, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this. Very first thing we have are these good crisps. We actually ordered four of these. We've already gone through one. Working on another one right now. These are barbecue flavored. Um, great ingredients, non-GMO, and they taste just like Pringles to me. Next up are these Enjoy Life soft baked mini cookies in the kind chocolate chip. They also have a double chocolate one, which is great too, but Logie Bear just prefers the chocolate chip. These are great for on the go snacks. They come in six little snack packs and they're like a fun little treat for your kiddos. These are great. Wanted to try this Annie's fruit tape. It comes with swirly strawberry and bendy berry. It comes with 12 rolls. Um, I don't know, it just had pretty good ingredients considering it's like a fruit roll up. And I just wanted to see if he would like something like this. So grabbed a box of these. Next up are these dandies. I actually grabbed two bags of these guys to make some uh, Rice Krispie treats. We love these, they're vegan marshmallows. Are the ingredients like the greatest? No, it's not a huge long list of them though. And it's something that we eat pretty seldom. Yeah, we're making Rice Krispie treats with these guys. Next up, I have two bags of these gluten-free sprouted rolled oats by um, One Degree Organic Foods. I love these oats. I recently just ran out of my huge stockpile that I grabbed from Costco and Costco hasn't come back with these yet. So I went ahead and grabbed them from Thrive and they weren't a bad price at all. Excited for these guys. Also from the brand One Degree Organic Foods, we grabbed these sprouted brown rice crisps. They're gluten-free. I'm hoping they're like Rice Krispies because this is what I plan on using in the Rice Krispies for the boys. I'll let you guys know how they are though over on my Instagram. 
Oh, also these would be great to top your smoothie bowls with. Also got some organic fruit snacks for Logie Bear. I'll put these up in his like little snack bin that I have in the pantry. And he loves grabbing one of these for the road or something like that. Love the ingredients in them. They're by the brand Yum Earth. They're gluten-free, they're vegan, they're allergy friendly, and they don't have any dyes. We grabbed four boxes of penne. I've been loving penne. Um, I just like how the sauce gets all in the middle of it. That's like my favorite thing ever. We do spaghetti nights or pasta nights all the time. So definitely need these guys on hand. We love the brand Jovial. It's just organic brown rice and water for the ingredients and they don't turn out mushy. Okay, I was fibbing. We grabbed six boxes of penne. Wanted to try the Thrive Market organic taco seasoning mix. We usually use the Trader Joe's one. I love the Trader Joe's one. I have no issue with it. I just saw these and I was like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and give it a try. So I'll let you guys know how we like it over on my Instagram, but it's got great ingredients in it. Yeah, so I'm excited to try these guys. As you can see, somebody has already been in these. These are also by the brand Yum Earth and they are the organic pops, basically just lollipops. I love the flavors. Logie Bear loves the flavors. Even Derek really likes them. And again, no dyes. So I feel really good about him eating these. Mama was not messing around this time with these beef sticks. The boys love these. And Logan can eat his ent an entire one on his own. So I grabbed actually four boxes. You can see the other box up here that we've been working with. But I like these over the chomps. Well, actually the boys like these over the chomps because they're much easier to chew. They both say the flavor is still great. And the fact that Logie Bear always goes for these over like chips or something else should tell you that they're really good. This guy, these are the dang Thai rice crisps. I'll probably actually go ahead and put these in my hospital bag just so I can have something to munch on while I'm breastfeeding or anything like that. Um, but these guys are great. I've tried them before. I've never tried the coconut crunch, but I got these one time when I was in an airport because they were the only allergy friendly snack that I could find for us. And I was shocked at how good they actually were. They don't look very like they look kind of dry, but they're actually, they're just addicting. Last thing from, well, not the last thing. We actually grabbed some Swedish fish from the brand Wholesome. Those are great too. Really chewy though, but most Swedish fish are. Um, but these guys are the last thing that we grabbed. We grabbed the Lara Bar Kids Bakes Cinnamon Swirl. They're gluten-free, just nine ingredients. I wasn't even gonna pick these up until I saw the ingredients and I was like, oh my gosh, nine ingredients. And they're all like totally normal. It's not like a bunch of added crap. It's buckwheat flour, honey, cane sugar, coconut oil, chia seeds, molasses, cinnamon, water, and sea salt. So hoping Logie Bear likes these on the reviews it said that it tasted like a cinnamon roll. So we get six of these in this box. So again, we are back to restocking the food storage here with the Thrive Hall order. I'm just making sure everything is nice and neat, easy to find. All things that are similar are grouped together. All of the labels are facing out. And I try my best to organize based on sizes as well, just so I can see everything. And I'm not putting smaller things behind the other one, if that makes sense. Um, Cause then you'll forget that you've got stuff there. Alrighty, time for the tour portion of this video. Let me show you exactly what we have up here. We've got two of these Siete grain-free tortilla chips up here. They're great for lunches and snacks and things like that. Chips and salsa, especially if you're corn-free. We have these little like cheese puffs that are from the brand Lesser Evil and we have not been loving them. Logan was the only one who would really eat them and now he doesn't really want them. So I honestly should probably just throw these away. We also got Thrive Market veggie sticks. We have some Beanfields Pico de Gallo chips. And right back there, we have some of the organic Spud Love sea salt and vinegar chips. If you guys have never tried like the barbecue kind of these, they're insanely good. The jalapeno was great too. And then we have some of the bean, bean, the, oh my gosh, bean fields, jalapeno lime. All of these up here I have found on Thrive, except for those two big Siete bags in the back. Although I do believe Thrive carries those. I found the big bags at Costco. Then we have some Quinn whole grain sea salt pretzels, basically gluten-free. The Quinn creamy peanut butter filled pretzels which are awesome and then some of the white cheddar you can see back there white cheddar bunny tail puffs by annie's i just like to keep a variety of snacks on hand we don't eat them all at the same time 
but that way if I need something quick to go in a bag for Logie Bear or something like that, I've got options. Right next to those chips, we have the Good Crisp Outback Barbecue Chips, basically Pringles, but better ingredients. Four things of these beef sticks, and I actually took the top off of this one just so the boys could reach in and grab them easily. And then we have all of Derek's Pepsi over here. Not a ton, and these will probably be gone in the next few days. He's insane with his Pepsi drinking. And then up here is just a little snack box that we let Logie Bear pick out of sometimes. And you can see we've got all kinds of things in there, but right now we have the organic pops like the lollipops from Yum Earth. And then we also have some organic gummy bears down there by Black Forest. That big box came from Costco as well. The next row down, I just need to throw these away. We have so many boxes of pasta, but we typically use two boxes at a time because these are not the regular one pound boxes of pasta. So I would definitely recommend getting two boxes if you're used to the 16 ounces. Um, so we have all of these penne ones here. The two in the back right there are shells. And then we also have um, some just like regular long spaghetti that you can have with like meatballs or whatever. The two blue boxes in the back are actually Annie's vegan and gluten-free mac and cheese. So I kept a couple of those on hand just for easy lunches, especially after Sis is here. We have one bag of raisins here. The organic sun-made raisins found those at Costco. The Thrive Market brand organic coconut sugar right there. Love to use that in oatmeal and baking goods. And then we have a bunch of chocolate chips on hand right here too by the brand Enjoy Life. It's a very allergy friendly brand, has great ingredients, especially for chocolate chips. So we have two bags of dark ones. And then what do I have left? Four of the mini chips. And those are my favorite. Coming to our canned portion here, we have two cans of super sweet corn. We've got some better than bouillon in the veggie kind. Haven't needed to use that yet. Two things of enchilada sauce, one green, one red. We also have some tomato paste. I think that's always good to keep on hand. Some chipotle peppers. And then all back here in this row is just organic tomato sauce from Costco. And we also have some coconut milk right here. Some coconut milk right behind there. Some pumpkin. This is always great to keep on hand if you have dogs and in case they're like constipated or something, you can give them a little spoonful of this and it helps them go potty. We also have some organic diced tomatoes back here. We're running a little low on those guys, but I'm not too worried about it since we have so many freezer meals coming up here. We have a full box of refried beans all stacked up in the back from Costco again with great ingredients in these guys. Some black beans, some chickpeas, and right behind here is some kidney beans. Then over here we have our salt refill. We use the Redmond Real Salt. I get this on Thrive. It's way cheaper on there than it is in the regular grocery store. Our Chosen Foods 100% Pure Avocado Spray. I bet this is on Thrive too, but I actually found it at Costco for a really, a really great price. It comes with two of these guys. We have some hemp hearts back here. And then right behind there, we've got a gluten-free bread and roll mix that I've literally never used in I've already had it for like a year. Down here, we have some LaCroix, just a bunch of different varieties. Logan usually loves to grab one of these and bring them to dinner or whatever. And then we've got some Spindrift in the back there. We have a bunch of Rao's pasta sauce, some Frank's red hot sauce, some organic salsa. All of these are from Costco. I just feel like it's way cheaper to buy it in bulk like that, especially when you know you're gonna be using it. You can see right back here, we actually tried a new kind of pasta sauce this time, the Sonoma Gourmet Roasted Garlic. It's organic, it's got great ingredients, and it was on sale, so I figured we'll just try a pack. So it came in a two pack. We have some peanut butter, which you guys told me to store upside down, some ketchup, and then some barbecue sauce right behind the ketchup. We have our two bags of oats right there are two boxes of pouches and I just leave these open so that Logan can get to them easily, especially if we're running out the door and he wants a pouch, he can grab one. Also have the brown rice crisps back there and the two bags of, what are they called? Marshmallows so that I have everything in one place to make the Rice Krispie treats. Then we have some sweet potatoes and some golden potatoes that we plan on using this week for dinners. Coming down to our last thing here, we've got some vinegar right over there. I think it's smart to just always have vinegar and like baking soda on hand. Just so many uses throughout the house and I got that at Costco it comes in a big like two or three pack for like four bucks right behind there we have some paper plates which we will be living off of after sis comes we've got our apple cider vinegar right there also from Costco macadamia nut milk also from Costco um, parchment paper foil and some more parchment paper I just like to keep those on hand because we use them very regularly we have some organic lemonade right here also from Costco you guys can see kind of back there the green or the blue tops we have three bottles of 
gluten-free beer. So we actually don't drink and definitely don't drink beer. I don't like it, but I do cook with it sometimes. We've got a bag of onions and four bags of organic short grain brown rice. And I use my instant pot over here to make the brown rice. So I always keep it down here. You might've noticed that we were missing some things. These are all going up in like the snack bin for Lohi Bear in the pantry. We have the cinnamon roll things. That's actually going in my hospital bag. These unreal dark chocolate covered, basically peanut M&Ms, they're so good. These ones are going in my hospital bag. The fruit tape is going in the snack bin. Fruit snacks go in the snack bin. The mini cookies go in the snack bin. And then these taco seasonings just need to go in my spice drawer or cabinet. Alrighty, you guys, that is it for my food storage organization and tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get back to trying to get this baby out and I will see you guys next time. Bye.